Hey guys, I'm going to be working in my 6x6 disc bound joggles black art journal today. Um, in the end, it doesn't really matter that I used a black surface because I covered everything up, but I didn't know that that was going to happen. So, um, you know. <laughs> so I'm taking this piece of ledger paper and I was being lazy and didn't want to glue the back. So I'm just going to use some like um, adhesive like tape runner to adhere it. And you'll see why it wasn't the best choice as we continue on. And then I'm going to cover the whole thing with a layer of clear gesso. I'm going to go all over my paper. I'm going to, I kind of scunched up the scunch, scunched, whatever, the edges <laughs> a little bit um, just to get a little distressed look. And again, that's something that doesn't matter in the end. <laughs> so um, I'm going to go over the whole thing with a layer of a regular gesso as well, just to kind of tone down the vintage print. Don't ask me why I use two gessos. I'm not really sure why I use two gessos. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. So once that's dry, I'm going to take some Liquitex Basics acrylic paint in quinacridone magenta and what was the other one? Light magenta? That went by really quick. Um, yeah. So I'm using my big fat Dina Winkley brush, paintbrush, and just kind of haphazardly slapping that color on there. And then I'm gonna take my catalyst tool and kind of make some swoopies. And you could see those lines there from my tape coming through the paper. <laughs> I was not expecting that to happen. So I've seen these artists do this art with like paint and then they scrape some away with a catalyst tool or something like that. And it always looks really dynamic. And I don't know. I mean, it really wasn't working for me. That's, this is the first time I've tried this technique. So I guess, you know, if I was able to do it on the first try, it doesn't really speak too highly of the other artists. Like it's really easy to do their craft, <laughs> which is awful, but so it didn't work out. So uh, we're going to go in a different direction. I'm going to add a little bit of cheddar uh, Dina Wakely Media to my fuchsia or magenta color because cheddar and fuchsia so good and then I'm going to take some light blue permanent um, I love the way magenta and light blue looks together look together so um, I'm just going to take a little bit of a smaller paintbrush and kind of apply that in three sections on my page I do it in threes um, just to kind of get like a visual triangle going um, and I don't know I just I think that looks a little more pleasing to the eye and then with my leftover blue paint I'm gonna take this carved X's stamp by Viva Las Vegas stamps and I'm just gonna stamp it into the paint and then stamp it on my page and it's gonna leave some of that the blue X's and then it's also gonna remove some of that blue paint from um, the paint on the page that wasn't dry yet and then I'm gonna make sure I clean my stamp really well so that the paint doesn't dry and um, I didn't know what to do with this at this point so I thought I would do a little bit of um, masking or reduction stenciling so I'm gonna take these bird masks by Dina Wakely I put my white paint down first put the birds over it and then wipe around that with a wet paper towel and then it just reveals um, the bird underneath but it's kind of like um, a more uh, distressed kind of look than if I had stenciled with the stencil like through the negative sense all you know what I mean and then I'm gonna take my night paint and I love art that has like a really bold element to it so I'm gonna take a um, a paintbrush and just uh, make a bold swipe across my page just kind of not thinking about it just swiping it on there but then it turns out I didn't like the bottom so I wiped that up quickly before it dried and um, went back at it with my brush and paint and I'm just gonna add some more swoops and stuff until I'm kind of happy with the way that it looks and then I'm gonna take my Stabilo Marksall um, water soluble pencil make sure it's really sharp and I'm just gonna write a sentiment or quote and it says I think she finally made it back home it's from a rancid song I can't remember the name of it right now 
uh, something, Red Hot Moon, that's what it's called, Red Hot Moon by Rancid. And I'm going to scribble a little bit of my Stabilo Marksall on my um, craft sheet there and use that for my black splatters. And that's it for my page today. Super simple. And like I said, it didn't need to be on a black surface. And I didn't need the ledger paper because everything got covered up. <laughs> but that's the way these things go, you know. It's all about the layers in the process. So thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys next Tuesday, if not before that. Bye-bye, guys.